There are both plastic and metal stents available uh, for use in the bile duct. And the decision on using one or the other really depends on whether we're dealing with a malignant stricture or a benign stricture. If the stricture is indeterminate, we're not sure if it's benign or malignant, then a metal stent should be avoided. If it's a known malignant stricture, then a metal stent could be used. The advantage of the metal stent, of course, is that the diameter is larger, and so the stent will stay patent longer. Uncovered metal stents are, cannot be removed after placement. If removability is needed, then a fully covered metal stent should be placed. Even though there may not be an FDA indication for removability of fully covered metal stents, they are often used in situations where a benign stricture is going to be remodeled by placement of the stent. Such, an, such examples include benign biliary strictures related to chronic pancreatitis, benign strictures related to uh, liver transplantation, and others. An important consideration about placement of fully covered metal stents is that the stent should not block a side branch of the, of the bile duct in which it is placed. For example, fully covered metal stents in general should not be placed up at the hilum for fear of blocking one of the main bile ducts. In addition, there may be some consideration that placement of a fully covered metal stent, which is obstructing the cystic duct, could, in some cases, lead to acute cholecystitis. In patients with malignant biliary obstruction, uncovered metal stents are typically placed. One potential advantage of a covered metal stent is it prevents tumor ingrowth through the mesh of the stent. In patients with shorter life expectancies, this may not be a clinical issue in using the uncovered metal stent. However, in patients with, who are expected to live longer, a fully covered metal stent may be advantageous to prevent tumor ingrowth into the stent.